probably one of the most rewarding things that the students going through the course experience, especially once they graduate, would be understanding what they're gonna be doing. They're able to see the history of what their aircraft and their career field has come from and how it's developed now. And it's really changing the battlefield and changing the war as we know it now. Some of the largest misconceptions that trainees have that it's all about killing people, you are not gonna go in and be releasing weapons day in and day out. There is a lot of work that goes into killing terrorists. There's a lot of verification that must be done before we take someone's life. We have to make sure they're a bad guy before that happens. So there is a lot of training revolving around weapons release. It's not a video game because everything you're doing is 100% real. There's no reset button. It's you, your pilot, you're on the radio with the troops on the ground. You could be communicating with four, five, six, seven agencies all at once. You have to get into that mindset that, hey, I'm part of this crew, I need to be able to speak, and you have to be able to speak confidently. Some people are naturally more confident than others, uh, but it's something that you're gonna have to do, and if you're wrong, just accept that you're wrong and move on, but you have to have that confidence to say, hey, I think there's a problem here. Confidence comes with the knowledge of the systems of the aircraft. So the more time and effort that you put into learning, the more confident I can guarantee you will be. Being coachable is probably the most important thing about being a brand new sensor operator. The students that we receive here at Randolph, most of them are 18 and they just graduated high school and they have no idea what they want to do in life. Nine months down the road, they're flying a combat mission, so very high responsibility. 